Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Anno 1404 where we're uh, carrying on here. We're going to try and sort some spice out today. That's going to be the plan anyway. Um, so if you missed the first one or just as a quick reminder, these uh, videos are being pre-recorded uh, whilst we emigrate. Oh, look at that. Whilst we emigrate to Canada. So I'm not able to uh, take on board any feedback, unfortunately. But rather than keep the uh, comment section empty, we are using it for a bit of fun with a question of the day. So today's question, please, is what superpower would you love to have and why again i'll be answering it a little bit later in the video um but i would like to know from you what your favorite superpower is uh, or the superpower you would most like and most be able to use okay uh, good stuff right let's move on so we need some spice we can't actually grow spice ourselves just yet um i had a little look online because obviously you know normally uh, you know you guys feedback would be the way to go about this but uh, unfortunately, I don't have that uh, availability uh, to me, so instead I had a quick look online and basically we have to find ourselves the Orient, which is on the same map. Um, it doesn't quite work like 18, uh, 1800 where there's a different map, um, but basically further south there is uh, the Orient and from them we can buy uh, the ability to build some certain buildings, one of those being a spice hut or sp some sort of spice thingy. Um, but we are going to need a gift for them when we get there. Uh, so I'm going to go and buy one of those first. We have 60 citizens. We have 176 peasants. So most people seem to be pretty content with their life at the moment. Peasants are ready to advance. So they will if they can, yeah? Euphoric citizens. Um, but they're not going to be ready to advance yet. So I wouldn't have thought. No. But there we go. There's a ship. So while that ship's on the way there, let's just make sure we've got everything going okay here. Are you Are you just full, are you? Yeah, we desperately need to upgrade these. Um, and we need... Oh, tools. What about... What about you? We don't need tools for you, do we? Oh, yeah, we do need tools. Okay, well, once our... Um, is that our ship? My God. Oh, hashtag spooky door. My God, that's taking a while. Left click to start the action mode for moving, attacking, and escorting. Start a patrol, defensive combat. Okay, so once we're here, uh, let's have a look. How wonderful to see you again! Splendid gift for a guest. There we go. Proof of goodwill. So we can buy one of those for fifty honor, which we will do. We're going to give that to um, to the dude who runs the Orient once we get there, and also we'll buy some uh, tools while we're over here as well. We'll drop the tools back off again. And then, um, and then we'll head out looking for the Orient whilst uh, whilst back home gets uh, a bit more sorted. So, uh, you? I'd be delighted. No. Ah, oh, I'm so glad you're here. I'd oh, here we go. Sorry. To a fair deal. Another player has built. A... I'd be happy to help you. Founded an oriental settlement. There we go. We need to do that as well, probably. So is that what we got what we need? Yeah, okay. So you head back home to turn that back in here because here everything's getting pretty full. I don't mind these being full because because the uh, the workshop's full. That's fine. Um, but really, we don't want you full. We want these to be moved. Everyone at court is relying on your skills in this matter. Uh, escort a ship out of this region and take the proof to North... No, I haven't really got time for those. Yeah, I'm sure he does. See, there we can... What we can do is we can get rid of these ones now. So, we'll get rid of you. The Grand Vizier is waiting for you. Al Zahir is sure to be delighted with this token of your respect. Let's take the gift to Grand Vizier Al Zahir's Harbour. That sounds exactly like what we have to do with it, actually. Um, there we go. Uh, oh, that's give us some tools back. All right, well, with that, then, let's upgrade you. Boom. Oh, look at that. Nice. So that gives us two of the, uh, of the little chaps now, I think. Two of the little, these dudes. Okay. So when we get some more tools, we'll do the same down here, I reckon. Increases the number of market carts and increases storage capacity. That's that's like your main one then, yeah. Okay. Fortunately, it does take a little while to get about. Uh, get about? Get a, get a boat to get about, basically. Yeah, it takes a while to get a boat to get about. Here, weavers. Are we always... It seems one for one. 
As long as they're never waiting for hemp, I don't mind having just the one hemp uh, farm, I suppose. Okay, cool. Here we go. So you are going to drop off uh, tools. Yep. And then we'll upgrade you. Okay. So now you can all hold... Oh, no, it's still 40. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not 40. Look, that's gone up. 42 tons of... St ah, 42 tons of stun there. Looks like you can store 50 tons there. That's good. So everyone else will carry on stocking up as we go. Uh, all right, so we can leave them too. It can't wait. Okay, let's go and find... I mean, really, we just got to pick a spot in the map, I guess, haven't we, and start heading down there. Unless... What are you? You're just a bit of land. It doesn't really do much at all, does it? No, nothing there. Okay, this is Young Leaf's place. Ooh, we seem to be neck and neck at the moment. What are you? You're, you're making hemp. Yeah, that's fine. You're making cider. Small building. All right, okay. Yeah, nothing. he's got nothing on us right now. Really random. That's a really random bit of... Uh... Oh, okay. Where? Okay, it looks just like a big ass island. Oh no, it's not that big actually. Okay, isn't the one particularly interesting? There's another one here. Oh no, that's young laddos. Okay, so what what can be grown here? Cider, grapes, bees. Mm. Okay. So as for you. Let's keep heading down here. Oh, it's come right down to here. Ha ha! We found May it. Future encounters be as peaceful as this one. Good. Inshallah. Good stuff. That took ages. Like <laughs> it was here on the map. I came down here all the way around. There's some nice big islands though. So basically, the Orient is the south of the map, uh, basically, which is cool. Looks really good. Some nice looking, uh, nice looking buildings over here. Oh, there's a whale. Look. Knowledge. Of our architecture. Uh, explains to you that you can also build buildings with a higher. Of rank. Uh, okay, so come over here. Got something for you. Just the right thing for you if you want to pay your respects to the Grand Vizier. Now I've got one. I've got one already. What are you selling? Tools and fish. A sail cloth increases the ship's speed. Oh. Your devotion to me. Requires if you would like to give him a token of your appreciation. I yes. This initial honorary rank in the name of the Sultan. Okay, good. Visitors from the Orient, I grant you your first insight into Oriental architecture. Pleased to see that you have acquired your first diplomatic rank. Okay, so. This precious ship shall be ah, yours. here we go. It is bazaar, market, small Noria, date plantation, nomad house. You must build a bazaar before you can settle. A bazaar creates a construction area for nomad huts. Uh, ah, okay, so we need to find an island. We need some wood and we need some tools, which we don't have. So, what are you? The ship is proof. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, they ju they've just they just given me a ship. Wow, okay. So, which of these do we... Which of these lovely islands do we go on for, then? We've got quartz... Uh, quartz. This, this one here. I'd like one that has like a few different stuff on. Gold there. That looks good. Uh, are you anything? Are you just cool looking reef? Oh, it lets me pick it. Which tells me it might be something in the future. But as it stands, we've got quartz, iron and gold. Copper. Wow, it's quite rich, isn't it? Iron stone. Okay, so I'm tempted to go this one. I'm tempted to set up here. So you come here, and then you, our other ship, you can you can go back up home for now. Okay. And we'll see how we get on there. All right. Uh, other thing I noticed is the rows don't have to all be completely linked. So I've got rid of that little weird thing there. Basically, these these have an area of influence. You can build them anywhere. And as long as they're connected, it's all good. So 
it's not actually an area of, of influence that you're building from. It just very much looks like one because you click building. So, yeah, we're actually all right to build wherever we like. <laughs> I was getting a little confused by that, to be honest with you. I don't know what Breen is. Anyway, loads of stuff we can build now. These dudes are all still okay. Uh, okay, so the citizens then, they require um, iron. And, oh, no, we can build an all mine. Uh-oh. Few people track us down here and live to tell the tale. Well, I'm I'm not interested in You carry on doing what you're doing, pal. Don't worry about me. You'd be wise to go. Yeah, we can buy stuff from you, can't we? Um Ship can set up expedition outside the known world using a map. Alright, okay. It's all a bit advanced for us right now, I think. In the meantime... Oh, you're here. Okay. So, I'd like to build... A... No, no, no. Warehouse... You need visitor from the Ord... Visitor... From the Orient. Have we not got that? Build a warehouse. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Okay, so we'll build you there. Boom. Okay, nice. And we've got some dates chilling there as well. So it's spices we want. So, create a structure area for no man huts, satisfies the new company. Alright, so we'll build you up this way a little bit. Can we connect you to anything? Oh, that's interesting that we can't build you there. Okay, so here seems like the best spot then, I suppose. It's a nice land there, good. Okay. Uh, nomad houses. Oh, let's get some uh, roads around you, first of all. Okay. Peasant house. Right, so it does. It's We're in the wrong place. Marketplace. Where is the marketplace? I'm just interested. I don't think you realize what's at stake. Can we actually put that down? We can. That's weird, isn't it? I don't want to. It's weird that we can put that down. Okay. Uh, explain that you can make goods available for to buy or sell at your warehouse. Yes, I wanted to know how to do that. Passive trade means you can advertise the goods available for sale or purchase at your warehouse. Once you've defined the goods, potential trading partners will frequently visit your warehouse to uh, transact their business while your focus are more... No, not yet. But what I would like to do, I want to tell this... No, 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 no. Come on. It's this little line, I think. No, come, come out of the way. I think it's because you're too close. Come here. Uh, trading. Ah, here we go. Trading place. Strong. Ah, right. Okay, trading place. So we're going to add woods. Yes, we can sell... Yes, all of these. Uh, this ship's crew can be trusted in. Okay, you buying anything? You had anything? You buying anything? <laughs> plants has stopped producing goods. Who's that then? Lumberjacks, just because it's full, that's fine. Okay, back down to the Orient. Let's uh let's sort this out then. So what do we need? Nomad houses. 
The remaining nomad houses do not fill the ascension conditions. Right, okay. Ah, is that what it was saying about over here before? Let's have a look. Right, six. The remaining peasant houses do not satisfy... I don't, that doesn't really make sense to me. Is that going to be full? Is that going to be full? Wow, we need to expand massively there. Okay. But for now, let's build some nomad housing. Yeah, that's good. Ah, uh, oh, they're really good, aren't they? Look at those. Okay. Good fortune. They're happy. Let's have a look. What do they want? They want company. They've got company now. Once we get 145 of them, we can send some cider. Is that cider they want? Is it just dates they want to eat? That's pretty crazy. Okay, so we can set up some... Uh, let's have a look. Orange market bills must be built on desert terrain. Makes the land green. Okay. Not in the construction area. Ah, okay, because we need a market building, don't we? We need a market building like this one. Here we go. Boom. Goat farm, spice farm. We need 145 nomads. Well, we better get some dates growing, haven't we? Um, let's do it like this. So dates can go there. I think I think we have to have one of these. Farm cannot use the soil on this island as it lacks the required fertility. No, no, no. Look, it's doing it. Oh, look at that. That's a really neat mechanic, isn't it? So just, just let it get going for a little bit, do we, or what? These fields are yielding nothing. It's going to be this one, isn't it? Fertile soil. Produce goods produced in this building. Okay, so. So it still won't produce now? Uh, let's put a path in. One of one. Is it just because uh, we need to join them up with a path? No, how does it work? I mean, it's getting there. Look, it's getting bigger and bigger, this thing. It's doing a great job. Farm is... Can I use this on It lacks the required fertility. Oh! Genuinely just doesn't have date fertility. That's the problem. Oh, what a numpty. Okay, so hold on then. Can we can we can we buy that off you? Welcome back. Date seeds. The new facility can be created on an island by planting seeds. Okay. Uh yeah, we can do that. Okay, good. So you where are you? Come here. We'll go and buy some date seeds. So here's me thinking it was the actual ground was the problem. It's not, it's just the island we picked. Didn't even think to check. That it just didn't have the facility required. Over here, everything is pretty much stocked up, right? Um, they're waiting on spices. We're working on it, okay. Otherwise, we need some peasant housing in, in here as well, this don't we? This choice of buildings should help you to find your feet here in the Orient. Okay. Okay. 
No, it was like 46 out of 88. Patricians is next. Are you here yet, pal? Is this me? The Daria. Nice. Okay, so. Uh, so, yeah, I want them. Are you interested in precious items? The trade sounds good to me. Okay, good to you, good to me. Let's get our shit back. Because we've got one spot. So hopefully dates, that might actually work out quite well. I thought that was dates. So almond, indigo, and silk, and dates as well. So hopefully once we've got dates there, we'll be cooking on gas for a little while. Hopefully they're not going to cause us too much bother. Very pretty island. And over here, I think we're doing all right. Let's have a lot. 42 of 72. So what's up with you? Well, Why? New. Coming to your town was a... Yeah, you're moving in. All right, good. Go ahead. Sow the seed so they will... I'm going to. You're a bit delayed, aren't you? So right-click to throw... No, I don't want to right-click to throw them overboard. Can we be using islands in the south? All right, okay. Come on, then. Come on. Let's get you all wired up. Oh. Game save. <coughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> My people know the miracle of cultivating spice. Cultivate spices. The spice population beyond the Orient will be available to you once you reach East Steam and have reached the first diplomatic. Yeah, I know, I'm doing that. No. Pick it up. There we go. Now come out of the way. Okay, so left click to activate. Yes. The seeds have been planted. Yeah, so that, there we go. Soon be able to harvest them. You making dates now? Good stuff, because dates are gonna keep you lot happy. Right? So what do we need in it to get spice farm? 145 nomads. How many do we have? 120? Oh, we're not a million miles away. Okay, let's um, build a few more houses for you then. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, no, not like that there. There we go. And we'll do some pathing. Okay. So once we get a few more... 124. So once we get 140, we can do spice farms. Um, goat farm. We don't have the diplomatic rant, I don't think, yet. We have visitor from the Orient. Oh, no, we do. Okay, so we can do goat farm as well. Which I imagine is what levels these up. Oh, no, they need quite a bit, luck. Drink, faith. So, when that gets to 145 and we can make um, spice, we'll have to set up our little boat here to do a trade of spice and cider, right? All buildings available. Good. I'm in. Impressed by the speed at which you've created a thriving town from nothing. Yeah, I know it's good, isn't it? So, need for amusement, okay? By the speed oh, look at all this! So these are all harbour stuff. Harbour master's office, key wall, small storehouse. Uh, da, da, da. A statue generates honour. Satisfies the needs for amusement. There we go. We need a pub is what we need. We also need some tools. Okay, so where's our, where's our other boat here? You come and get some tools off Milado there. Whilst here, how are we doing for uh, housing? 
136. We, we, we need, what's that? Nine more people. Nine more nomads. Um, has stopped producing goods. Are you full? I think you're just full, aren't you? Yeah, I'm just full. That's fine. We're selling. We're selling it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is that... I'm not quite figure that out, whether it's not... Left click to change the trade quantity. Ah, oh, there we go. I don't want to buy any. You must help me with this matter. Uh, I must not do anything of the sort. Sell set purchase price. You're currently paying thirty. No, 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 no. I don't want to buy any. I want to sell it. Right click to remove it from the purchase list. Selling. Oh, wow, that's a bit funky, isn't it? Fish, cider. Uh, Our has been awarded a new status. Uh, city, there we go, we've done. Okay, so that's it for now. You're going to sell stuff now. Oh, that's a bit com com uh, complicated, bit of a funky UI there. So now down here, we can now do a spice farm. Uh, I'm assuming it needs some fertile ground. Oh, that's okay. Let's do it over here. Insufficient building material. What do we need? So we need wood. Okay. Now can we? Mm, no, we're gonna we're gonna have to send wood. Uh, no. Put in a little more effort. No. This is for the good of the empire. Shush. I'm gonna go all the way up here to get some wood from our little chappy. But whilst we're doing that. God uh, bless you. Everything you do for this town. Amusement. Think carefully about what you charge for your goods. I congratulate you on this magnificent town. Thank you. The more you lower the selling price of one of your goods, the more frequently the goods will be purchased and in greater quantities. Well, that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? So here, young so man, I would me. like some tools. You find what you're looking for. Thank you. You come back up here with your tools. Did I okay for like fish and everything? Yeah, no problem. No problem with fish. Everything else you seems okay. The emperor will hear about this. I'll see to that. Good trade relationship. Yeah, like that. Okay, wow, well, you can get right up to like ten thousand people. That's crazy. For now, I think we're happy where we are. Uh, okay, where's our boats? We've got one here, we've got one coming over there. Not much we can do until either of them have made it back. Young Daria, come on. Uh, I tempted to go and buy some thingies for them to speed up. Let's see if uh, if little dude over here has done much. This is, you've come on quite a bit, haven't you? And she wept with all her might when she lost her gal. Ah, yeah, you're definitely uh, on the up and up, aren't you? What are you? Shipyard. I suppose we probably best look at doing that soon. Sorting out a harbour for some ships. Maybe do that one in the next episode. Uh, are you here yet? Come on, come on, come on. You need... Um, they are both coming in, look. That's just as well, isn't it? With tools. So, tools for amusement. You... What were you buying again? Oh, you're just get, you're just picking up some wood, aren't you? Uh, take twenty. Take some cider because it won't be long before they want cider, and take a bit of stone as well, just in case. Okay, and now get yourself all the way back down to there. Okay, another one coming in the seagull. There's the tools the dropped off. Is always a welcome change. He's took stone, he's took wood, and we've got some gold. So that's fine by me. So now we can build a tavern. Where's a good spot for this? That will pretty much get everyone in that we've currently got. So I say yay. There we go. Tavern. Seems to be pretty happy. Everyone's 
Very happy. The only thing we need now, then. Hello, what are you? So gracious as to hear my request. Take one nuns to your warehouse. I'm, okay, what does that mean? I'm looking. I'm looking for a nun. Is it genuinely just trying to find one, like on 1800s? I'm looking for a nun. <laughs> you look like a nun to me. You have found the person you were looking for. Okay. Have you any news concerning my matter? Thank you. You are a. Oh, good. That was good. I found a nun for him. Oh, no, nice. <laughs> um, okay, so food, but there you're you're for you you are euphoric. So, how do we move on up then? The remaining citizen houses do not fulfil all the ascension conditions. Available ascension rights can be allocated. No, no, just do it yourself. It's okay. I'm happy with that now. But I don't understand why we haven't got any of them. There are 32 houses. There are 431 people. So I don't understand why there's Sometimes not more. The of okay, here we go. Blocking ascension rights will prevent your population. What have you traded? You've had some fish off me. Okay. Uh, you have denied the automatic granting of ascension rights. Your population cannot build access building material and cannot independently change the civilization level. Once you decide which buildings should advance and when, you can grant ascension rights in the marketplace menu or in the relevant house. You can then monitor the development of your city and use your use of your goods more closely. Now, I'm I'm happy for them to do it on their own. I just don't really. Houses that fulfil all the essential conditions. Yeah, 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 yeah. So go for it then. For everything you do for this town. So you euphoric? No, no, no. That's fine. Essential rights released. So is it just because you haven't got spice? Must be fifty-five percent. Right. Yeah, it is. It's literally waiting on spice. Okay, come on then. You ready yet? Okay. So now we can do These are the first spice. I can give you. That's fine, mate. I'm I'm happy. There we go. Boom. Now what's up with you, first of all? Do it automatically, that's fine. And then put a path. In. Like that. Alright. But you're still not happy because you oh you need ah oh, we need those uh, that green green grower thing. Where are you? Small Noria. Can we put a small Noria in there? No. Put one over here. Yeah. Okay. Small Noria is gonna do its thing. Oh, excuse me for walking all around the microphone. Uh, oh, that's all over the place, isn't it? There we go, about that again. It's getting there. It's getting there. Missing fertility lacks the required. Oh no! Do we not have spice fertility? <gasps> oh my! Didn't even think of that. We've just we have just picked the worst island to land on here. Spice and dates. That's where we should have gone. We've come over here thinking I was all clever because it had got gold on and stuff. Hmm. All right, well, kind of messed that up a little then, haven't we? What about this one here? What have you got? Clay, indigo, and silk. What about this tiny one? Coffee, roses, sugar. It's this this big one is what is the one in it. Okay. So you come over to this. Uh, this big island here that we can that we can be useful on right come and sit yourself up here and tell me 
what we need because to be honest with you I'm tempted to rip the whole island down if I can if I can come and build another one over here with the with the correct stuff I'm tempted to rip the whole island down oh what are you you're nothing you just look good don't you oh you do look good as well right I'm, I'm guessing it's going to need stuff right there we go we need some wood, uh, and we need some tools. But otherwise, might I draw your attention to something? Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. Okay. Otherwise, we we've got what we need. So, uh, oh, it's only around here. That's not so bad. Okay. So we're gonna rip all of this to shreds and start over again. All right. Basically, packed up shop, and we're gonna come over here now and start all over again. So let's put you there. Okay. Pretty much moved everything. We're going to go and get the last few bits from over here, though, first. Because there's some dates and stuff sat in there. But otherwise, that's um, that's what we need to do. Okay, so we've we've established the Orient, at least slightly. <laughs> in the next episode, we'll look at setting up pat patricians? Patricians. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, even, so much for even possibly watching. Thank you. Uh, any thoughts, comments, and queries? Unfortunately, I can't take feedback on this series because it is a pre record whilst we uh, emigrate. Uh, but remember, I am asking you a question of the day. And today's question of the day was if you could have any superpower, what would it be and why? Mine, I'll be honest with you, it's probably quite a standard one, is um, the ability to pause time. But still do stuff, right? So, you know, pause time for everyone else except for me. And I'll be honest with you, I'd use it to sleep. Because, my God, I, one thing I've never been able to do, even if I got older, is is need less sleep. I, I, like, if I don't get eight hours, at least I'm useless. And really, I could do with, like, ten, eleven hours. And, I like, I, you know, you just don't have those hours in the day to make that happen. So I would, what I'd do is I'd get to bed at, I'd get to bed at like, eleven midnight, Wake up at 8, click that button, sleep for another 4 hours, click it again, and it's still 8 o'clock in the morning. How sad is that? That is exactly what I do my, with my superpower. I would just give myself more hours in the day. It's crazy, isn't it? Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks to all of our Patreons. They make these videos possible uh, through their generous support at patreon.com slash geekism. Uh, you will lose settlements and all goods currently stored on the island. Yes. And this one, it's got. I've got one little sp spice field there left that I couldn't reach. Never mind. I've got everything I want. Let's come down here. Sorry. Thanks for watching. See you later. <laughs>